wanted to be in the ocean because it eliminated every you know, memory or any bad feeling that I had at that time. When you stand up on a wave, everything in your mind is just completely blank and there's nothing that could ever bother you. If you'd sit into any pub around Cronulla and they'd tell you a story about Jeff, man. He's sit 10 metres deeper than anyone else. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had his going ads, but to an extent, he's, he had a bit of a screw loose when he was a you know, young man. And that's kind of what I got brought into, and my goals were to be, you know, to get barrels like he did and you know get covers on magazines to raise three kids by himself it's pretty incredible my dad split up with my mum at a really early age and um, you know he put his hand up to take us in and at the time he had a lot of connections through Bali and moved to Bali you know I just couldn't believe it at that age like I'd, all I wanted to do was surf every day till dark you know, at that young age, you know, I was frothing on everything. And I want to do every single comp there is and, you know, try to win. There was no white guys in any of the comps there. There was just all the local kids that surfed. I spoke their language and I felt like I was one of them, you know what I mean? Like, even though I got white skin, I'm speaking fluent Balinese to the kid. And we're all a big family. passion wasn't in for competing. Didn't put 100% in it, you know what I mean? And he told me, he's like, I got too deep into the party scene and didn't really, that bubble kind of got him and he went the other way, you know what I mean? And it's pretty easy to do that, especially being his son, you know? <laughs> Growing up in Bali, it's so easy to get lazy and distracted. Partying every night and more than usual, it's someone that was, you know, 15 years old, I just thought, you know what, you know, leave that. Come over to Oz and um, get some stuff happening. It was pretty daunting. I was on the plane and I was just like, man, this is, yeah, this is really happening. I'm about to go off somewhere that I don't even know with living with people I don't even know and just trying to start a new life, you know, as a kid. and then going to school every day. I didn't even know how to catch a bus. Yeah, I was bloody, I was half an hour late and rocked up to school, first day of school, boardies, sandals and a singlet. People looking at me like, who the fuck is this kid? You know, like I was just, I was, didn't know where I was, you know, it was such a big change. But that, I felt like that first few months of me first moving here and enrolling in the school were the hardest, you know, months of my life. And then again, I had surfing as a subject four days a week and we'd have pump and surf. From when I was like 16, that's when I was just really on the QS. Sponsors are hounding you for results and all this pressure's on you to get these results and it really screwed with my head. I wasn't feeling the love that I had for surfing for, for a while and you know I ended up getting dropped from my sponsors and it's hard as a kid, you know, 17, he was like, wow, that was my dream and it felt like it just went straight out the window. At that time I was just like, fuck, running out of money. 
I didn't know what I would do. I had no experience in anything. I was, I was surfing my whole life. For me, I always like having a crack, no matter what it is. My, I moved here by myself when I was 16 years old. I packed my whole life in my poor bag and I moved to different countries. I just thought I'd buckle down and find a proper job. You know, a few months going by and then I just got some new boards, you know, got back in the water a fair bit and I slowly got my love for serving back again and yeah, I picked up a sponsor again, you know, and they all back on board. I'm having more fun than I ever had before. Here's home for me as well, but I feel like it's just a small chapter in my life where I'm just going to get the shit done and then I move over back to where I'm supposed to be. I'd say I'm more Balinese than an Australian. I feel like I'll forever be a Balinese kid. It doesn't matter what colour you are. You know, you don't have to be born here to be Balinese. I feel like surfing's given me everything, really. It's been my source of direction. It's been, once you, you get your, your first barrel or your first, you know, really high, moment in surfing, it's hard to kind of go back from that, so, and I, I feel like I'll be doing it for the rest of my life. <laughs>